Hey guys, James here from TCG University coming back at you with another deck profile. Today, I'm doing the Salomo. Uh, I played him for our campus championship this week, continuing our Libra Souls run through. Uh, we added a couple other Soul Calibur characters kind of like fill in the batch. But uh, I just kind of like revamped the Soul, the, um, the Salomo deck I played earlier this year. Uh, I really like this deck. Tam really likes this deck apparently. So uh, let me show you what I made. Okay, guys, the Solomon is a 535 with Death, Earth, and Fire. We're playing him under Earth this time. Or I guess the same time. Oh, no, you're right. I'm playing him under Death. Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay, guys, the Solomon is a 535 with Death, Earth, and Fire. I'm playing him under Death this time. And again, from last time, I was also playing Death. So we're revamping that Death deck. He has three abilities. E, once per turn, this tech gets minus 5 speed. E, this tech is plus X damage. X equals the difference between its speed and its printed speed. And then R, after your opponent's blocked attack resolves, play a reversal from your discard pile. As a reversal, remove it from the game after it resolves or leaves the card pool. Uh, so our entire deck is reversals. Not a single one is not. Uh, the the entire idea of the deck is swing the reversals on your turn because you don't care if they hit your discard pile and block everything in reversal because it doesn't matter because it leaves your card pool. So uh, let's get into the deck. There's the solo mode right here. You can barely see him, but here we go. We're playing four Demon Realm Awakening. Uh, it's a block, draw one, removes itself from the card pool, keeps our progressive down, uh, lets you just... Ignore progressive when you basically play your reversal with the Solomon that also gets to leave. So basically this plus inner reversal just never interacts with your card pool, which is pretty nice. As well as just having the ability to uh, draw your card on defense is super good. We're playing three, Know the Power of the Abyss. It's a 4-4 four, four no block, but it says uh, E, you remove it, discard the top 10 cards of your deck, play your check for it. Reduce the speed of this attack to zero, and then add one reversal from your discard pile to your hand, which just allows you to block with it, or if you need to, just play it from your hand if you can't use the Solomon because you get he gets like stopped or something. It just gives you more options and another speed debuff. We're playing three bang, uh, bang. Just uh, we're a five hander, so sometimes we kind of we could get blown out by uh, seven handers. So uh, just being able to turn them off for a turn is really nice. One, Swordfish. Uh, just kind of like a uh, deterrent to make sure people don't just load up on missile launchers or shotguns and stuff like that. Because we'll just pop it and add it back to add it to the momentum and they just don't get to see it anymore. One, Pit. Uh, we are a reversal deck. So uh, Pit just has a stack that says all attacks lose safe. And it just means we don't get stumped by uh, safe decks. Though there's not a lot, but it exists. Uh, one, Manus Aeneas. Uh, it's a unique weapon, 1-5, no block, first F, shuffle up to three cards from your discard pile into your deck, and then E, commit, your opponent chooses one attack in your discard pile, this attack gains all enhanced abilities printed on the chosen card, this ability is very good, the second ability is what we mainly do, you reverse with the Solomel, uh, and then you make them choose a card in your discard pile and it gains the abilities, and basically just double down on the abilities you use during your turn. We have like Withering Toxin, which is really strong, Laser Trident, Spider Suplex, Urban Shower, Bug Spray, Calamitous Judgment, Guardian Slasher. Skull Barrier never really gets used like that, but it, it's in our discard pile. Uh, mainly you try and uh, kind of like filter your deck a little bit to make sure you don't have as many reversals that you don't want to run into. You don't want them wasting it on like a, uh, a Bug Spray or Calamitous Judgment when they have like nothing in their card pool that matters. You don't... You want to just like set it up for like a good, good, like beefy attack. Uh, so let's get into the, let's get into these attacks. The main kill card and beefy boy, withering toxin. Withering toxin is a four two four high for four punch range reversal. E this attack gets plus two speed for every card that has left your opponent's card pull this turn, and then the then the enhance that facilitates that. E remove X card from your opponent's card pool as a cost just sweep their entire card pool and then draw x cards and flip on your opponent's foundations so you play it remove their attack from you remove their attacks from the game or whatever else they have their cast here they put nutcracker sense morals something in i mean add something in like sense morals you just sweep it all the way into the rfg 
you draw all the draw an X number of cards equal to the number of stuff in their card pool, and then you get to flip a problem card, and then it gets speed equal to the cards that you remove from the game, and then you go ahead and use the sawmill to give it damage as well. So for every speed you give the sawmill gives it lets you give damage. So it's just super strong. Uh, we were playing three laser trident. It's a six three two high for seven. Um, that says it gets plus one speed for every card in our hand. This card's very good on offense after if we need like a sweep turn, if we hold these long enough. This card also has a reversal, says we get to stuff a card into our opponent's card pool, slowing down them and basically giving them a breaker one that they can't just throw away. Uh, as well as just if we do give it speed, we can give it more damage to Solomon. We're playing three Spire Suplex. Having the ability to block reversal play the spire suplex with the solomel to gain three on defense just as we extend our lives just a little bit longer and it being a three for six as a throw is just nuts because we can give it if we don't for our opponent's not going to like attack us anymore we can just give it negative five speed with the solomel and then give it plus five speed plus five damage with the solomel because we lowered its speed and just make this three for six throw into a uh, negative two for 11 throw so it still deals that six on a half block super nuts and if they don't it's 11 damage super crazy uh, three Urban Shower. Uh, it's a four low for four, four diff. Uh, if it's not blocked, we gain two. Your opponent burns for two. It's just super strong, super good. Makes your opponent pick and choose on how they want to do things. If they don't block it, we increase our life. If they do block it, they add to the progressive. It's just super strong. Uh, three Bug Spray. Uh, it's a three, two, three half for two, three diff, reversal safe, stun one. E, you force your opponent to randomly discard one, and then if they have three or more cards in their hand, if they have three or less cards in their hand, they draw another card. So basically, you uh, rev anything with like six or seven, they play the first attack, and you block and reverse with this. You basically just decrease their hand size by one for the turn, and it's at random. So you just get one, one random card, and as long as they're at four or more cards, you, they don't get to draw, so you don't have to worry about anything. So like six and seven handers just lose a card for this. It's a two damage attack that doesn't really matter. And then it says if it's not blocked, uh, if it deals damage, your opponent also loses two. So it's like a three for four. Just super, super good. Uh, super uh, slows down your opponent. Three Calamitous Judgment. Uh, it's a three mid for three. Uh, it has grow multiple one. You'll never use it. You're not grow. Uh, but its main ability is E, your opponent's turn. Your opponent loses one vitality for each card in their card pool. Uh, so you want to play this like later in the chain after you've blocked a few attacks and they've been removed. Then you play this and then you burn your opponent for everything in their card pool. But if not, just getting to burn one or two every time you play this attack is pretty good too. Uh, one Guardian Slasher. Um, this is like a panic button basically. Kind of, kind of the same thing as like a Swordfish. If we don't have a lot of defenses on our hand, say we just didn't draw good cards, drew a bunch of no blocks and had to build them, drew cards that just weren't going to help us, we can just block, reverse with Guardian Slasher, pay four, in their turn for the rest for the that doesn't allow them to play attack cards so you basically in their turn and just make sure you live one more turn and that sometimes that's all that just matters one skull bear uh same thing as like the guardian slasher it's the reason it's a one of uh sometimes we attack from our hand and if we do and we get the momentum we can just use it as a, a deterrent to just make sure our, our opponents just don't load up on big attacks because if they do we'll just spike it out with a skull bear We're playing three Humphrey Spiders. This card's good both when we build it and if we block with it. Because we'll block, reversal as the Solomo, and then get to move it. Or we will block, reversal as the Solomo, and then if our attack does damage, burn or, burn or gain with it. So, like, has dual has duality to it. Super strong. Three, high, three low block, covers our zones. It's pretty good. And then, my in my opinion, the best card support he got, depending on, like, the character you play against, and withering, how well Withering Toxin works for you is Guardian's Final Duty. Uh, e, remove, discard this attack. Only playable if you have more remove cards in your removing game pile than your opponent. Since we remove cards with the Solomel, we get to increase our remove game pile. And as long as we don't remove too many cards with uh, Withering Toxin, we don't have to worry about them having more cards on us. And if we do, uh, we can discard momentum with Guardian's Final Duty to remove up to five cards from our discard pile from the game. And just increase uh, our, our RFG so that way our opponent doesn't get to keep their attacks. Uh, we're playing three Keiko Zade. Uh, basically, after you block, with an, after you block, you just give something plus two. Uh, sometimes you don't have the reversal or you don't want to play reversal just because you, you just can't. Either it's safe and you don't have pit or just doing it would just 
end your turn or uh, end, your, end your life, basically. You just kind of want to break or two them with the plus two difficulty from this or put them in a situation where if they do block it, they add to the progressive if you decide to play reversal. And if you don't and they choose not to block it or your reversal, you get to just plus two their breaker anyways. It's like it just gives them a bad situation. Two fates intervene. Uh, this is, We're mainly playing this for the E commit. If this attack is blocked, it deals no damage. Your opponent may discard one card to cancel. Uh, this is really good, in my opinion, just because we can just commit. It's like an Aphidia Phobia, except we can make our opponent discard one if they want. And if not, we kind of just get to block for free and take nothing. So if they do do it, we make them uh, lose a card, which is super, super helpful. Uh, bring them down to our level. We are a five-hander, though we get to play a card for free. We're still a five-hander and draw only five cards a turn. Uh, we're playing two Prideful Personality. Uh, sometimes we want to get rid of cards to try and draw better cards. That's what Prideful Personality is for. Uh, it's just a 2-5 that says E-flip, discard 2, draw 2. We play a bunch of reversals, so Celestial Being. Celestial Being says if we can discard 2 momentum to give our attacks, our reversal attacks, but all of our attacks, plus 3, plus 3, speed and damage. Or if our opponent plays something like Stop or Stun 3, like Siang Mi Na, or like um, uh, Coffee Samba, or... Um, uh, Ice Dragon, we just cancel the ability make sure we get to keep our foundations. Because uh, sometimes you need to be able to block. Uh, two, Blood for Blood. Sometimes you whittle your opponent really low, and then we get to a point in the game where they can just block all your reversals and just kind of do this poke game with you. And this just says that they get to lose life every time you uh, play an attack, so you'll eventually kill them. Two, Karen Soul. Uh, flip for negative one speed, and if you block, you, the attack deals no damage. Uh, same thing as like the uh, fates intervene. Just make sure that we uh, don't take a lot and that we kind of just keep on living. Uh, two friends and rivals, uh, the uh, spider suplex and the withering toxin share two symbols with us. They're the only ones that do. That's why I cut this from like three or four to two, just because those are the only ones. They're the main ones we use. But they are still the only one, so sometimes having this on board doesn't do a lot for us. But after you play an attack that shares at least two resource symbols with your character, you could, your opponent has to commit two of their foundations, which just basically says we stun our opponent out on their turn, and then we get like speed with like withering toxin, and then give it more damage and make it to where if they want to block, they have to commit even more cards, and it just puts us in good positions. One nightmare tears to be able to block things like Nutcracker, Missile Launcher, Dark Cherry Toast, stuff like that. We are playing all reversals, so playing far worst places in hell is a very good choice for us. After we play reversal, we get to draw a card. Just says that we keep our hand size up when we block, so that way we can block again and still play reversals with Sasalma. We're playing four, know your objective. Uh, despite his negative five speed, sometimes you want a little subtle, more speed hate, as well as just having a damage, hate, uh, damage penalty hate on our board as well is really good. Basically, you can nade two speed from an attack to be able to block it. Or if you're in desperation and your opponent has stuff that reduces uh, our damage, we can just flip that as well. So being a spam with a three high block that says we get to uh, block something else is really good, especially when we get to reversal. Uh, three, Wishing Ward to be able to ditch our opponent's momentum. Uh, we don't want our opponent to have too much momentum because, again, that's how you get blown out by Missile Launcher, Dark Cherry Toe, and Nutcracker and stuff like that. And then the final card is Seneca Target. Uh, same reason why Nightmare Terror is in the deck, except this one is a lower difficulty and uh, is a spam if we need it to be. But after you block with this, you'll lose one. It's a 0 6, 0 low block. Just blocks Missile Launcher, Cherry Toe, Nutcracker, and the such. Thanks again for checking out the profile, guys. If you want to support us, go to patreon.com slash TCG University. Uh, if you want to support us out there, don't worry. And you can't support us out there, sorry. If you can't support us out there, you can go to youtube.com slash TCG University and just throw us a like, a sub subscribe to us, share our videos, comment on our videos. We love reading your guys' comments. Thank you guys for getting us to 500 subscribers. And as always, guys, stay learned.